really expensive to get out of a problem later. In fact, okay. I've had businesses that have had to close down because of the trademark infringement. Hey there, how are you doing? Hi, good, how are you? Good, nice to connect to you. Absolutely. I just wanted to say thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to connect with you. And I just think what you're doing is absolutely incredible. Um, being able to give back and give entrepreneurs um, a space to grow. And honestly, I just respect you and just think what you're doing is absolutely amazing. Oh, that's so, so sweet. Thank you so much for saying that. It means a lot. Um, I, I'm, I'm, it's nice. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, I'm so, so grateful to connect with you. So I, I, let me let me make sure I deliver because I was for a lot of expectation. I want to make sure I deliver. How can I help you today? What's going on? Oh, uh, thank you. Um, yeah, so basically, um, I this I I'm actually an actress for film and TV and um, have always had that like entrepreneur spirit within me and um, I always believe everything happens for a reason and um, for me I the I have been working in and out of film and I decided I was like you know what I need to make myself something a little bit more stable and try and take risks and so I created a e-commerce business this year um and that's what i focused on um basically this whole year um i'm always a person who believes in um just creating abundance in all areas of life and um basically i have my business um i'm basically at the marketing stage. So um, I hope to um, have this brand throughout my life for the long term. Mm -hmm. um, basically it's um, to, it's makeup bags actually for women. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so for me, I, I'm at a point where I need to um, start investing money to um start marketing it properly and um I basically have everything done I just need to um get capital and SEO and um have customers and all of that so um I think I sent my website to Talia yeah. but um yeah it's called Loom and um yeah, hopefully my goal is just to uh, be able to build a community and um, yeah, just create a wonderful company and a wonderful brand. And um, I just saw you and was like, wow, I believe everything happens for a reason. And I connected with you and um, yeah. And so it's like, wow, I need to connect with him. I think that'd be amazing. So anyway, that's my little spiel. And um, yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to fill up the website. So um, give me a second one. Sure. But yeah, I think the uh, so the stage right now, you've got a product. It's ready yes. to go. Have you launched already or you're about to launch? Um, I basically have, I haven't launched basically. Um, I just don't have any... Um, I just don't have any customers or how to market it. Mm. So I'm in the marketing stage where I'm like, okay, I know I need to do SEO and Facebook ads and Instagram and all of that stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, of course. Have you had any experience with marketing before or should, should we talk about that today? What, what, what would you like me to get into and help you with? Do you think marketing good stuff? Sure. Okay. I'm just plugging in my cable as well for power. I was running out of power. Yeah, no worries. Honestly, and thank you so much for helping me. I so I'm extremely thankful to. That's sweet. I I, I say I, I was um I think it takes me a few sessions to get people real help. So, but it, I, I know with a new business, there's a lot for you to think about. 
there's a couple of things when I look at what you're doing, I'll just quickly say, um, have you trademarked your brand? Um, I have an LLC. So um, I so I did do an LLC for that. Yeah. But, but but a trademark is different. You're talking about a registered company, right? It is, yes. I, I'm talking I'm talking about trademarking the name. Yes, no, I haven't done that. Yeah, because um it, I mean in, in England anyway, it costs about five hundred US. Okay. Uh, but it can seriously save you problems later because I mean I, I've worked on projects with people like Estee Lauders. Um, your brand, you know, Le Maire, Le Maire, you've got to be a little bit careful, okay? You don't okay. want what you don't want is one year from now you're doing really well, which I've got a feeling you will, mm -hmm. and then you get a cease and desist letter where someone says you've got a brand or trademark infringement, okay? Okay. So okay. Um, it, it's pretty cheap. People don't realize it. it's pretty cheap to register the trademark. It's really expensive to get out of a problem later. In fact, okay. I've had businesses that have had to close down because of the trademark infringement really so, okay. so just just do just write it down it's not yeah scary. i just wrote it down <laughs> it's, not, it's not as scary as it sounds it's not a big cost but it, it is it is a business risk that a lot of people don't do at the beginning and it's not till yeah. the year in trading that someone says oh that's my brand or your i've got that trademark and you've been and then you have to give them all your income yeah um, okay and, and so you know it's good you, you haven't started yet get that trademark in place now you don't need to worry about you can still trade but if you haven't put the trademark in mm -hmm. um, or you haven't checked that someone else doesn't already have that trademark, um, mm -hmm. you know, just a bit of due diligence, okay? Okay. Now, um, I, I hate legal stuff. I'm not a lawyer, but I, yeah. I've been caught out on that. So I always warn, um, I guess, new entrepreneurs that are launching a brand just, just to make sure that you've, you've got that category, especially in such a competitive space as yes. you know, makeup bags and makeup in general yes um, yes it's really very competitive and you just, you just don't want to get caught out with a name that i think is quite cool um you want to own it i think people's businesses become brand is the value not the product exactly so, so you want to own that brand okay okay um, so 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 that aside marketing wise i mean my my instinct of what you're doing is is kind of like i'm sure you're thinking of this but like i think the best opportunity is social media influencer marketing Yes, yes. So I don't know if that's your strategy, but I think, um, you know, affiliate partnership marketing where these guys, um, if they love your product and they fit your brand, you need to have a brand personality, right? So I, yes. I'm imagining the type of person, but, you know, a busy person who's very professional um, that, that can represent or promote you within their feed in a natural way. You're not, it's not forced because they would use your product anyway. It's yeah. going to be the best way to get the word out. Okay, perfect. That's what I was thinking. And I was like, you know what? I'd just love to talk to you and see how you are. Because obviously I'm I'm pretty new, but I'm um, a hard worker and I'm very open to suggestions and learning. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's awesome. Okay, I'm, I'm writing that down. So trademark and social media marketing with influencers yeah that's what i was thinking for marketing as well and i don't know um how you, you mentioned funding we can we can talk about that in a second but um you know i don't know how you are thinking about marketing the business but you know if you're doing it yourself contacting influencers by email through their messenger and just saying you know i can send you a sample of my product and you know maybe we can do a partnership of some sort um, um is, is the first step Okay. Yes. You know, okay. Keep, keep it casual. Keep it relaxed. Yeah. And, and, um, and, and, and see if you can build a relationship up with some of those influencers to um, help you launch your product when, when you go to market. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Um, yeah. I don't know. What were your plans on, on the marketing side? Is there any particular area or you're still thinking about it? Yeah. Um, for me, I, I know there's obviously, um, you can either do it obviously from Facebook ads um, and, and social media. And I know in my head, I kind of had, I, I know that I had to market it through social media and social media is a great tool to use for marketing. Um, and I had the influencers in my head as well to, it was, it was either between um, like Facebook ads or, and that kind of mm. that route or, um, influencers, but 
I, I think social social media advertising it's a yeah. very tricky game yeah uh, i would if i was invested in your business i'd be mm-hmm. saying hold back on that strategy for now okay but it's a bit it's a bit of a hole in the ground and it's quite technical yes and and i don't think it actually necessarily will work for you okay. and i'm not saying don't do it I'm yeah saying, now you, what i think will work best is if people real people who genuinely like your product show it off you know like yes i guess you know all, all you need is uh you know one celebrity uh to be yeah. walking around um using it and that that might lead to all the exposure you need pr wise and so on right exactly exactly so yeah so i i mean given your you know you know that world as well as a, as, as someone in tv and film exactly you can also relate to those those folks and i i, I would tap into that strength initially and hold back spending too much on any sort of paid advertising okay, okay. I think if you can get an influence on board and the PR that comes off that, mm-hmm. like whoever, whatever people wear at the Oscars kind of idea, right? You know, like yes. you only need one person to kind of get that and then it gets in all the pa- all the publications. And that yes. would be, you know, you only need one bit of luck. Exactly. So it will take off. Exactly. Um, so, so that's what I think. On, on the raising money side, what are you thinking there? What's, what's the, what's the, What's the issue? Are you, are you, do you think you need to raise money now or you're thinking about raising money or you definitely know you need to raise money? Um, for me, for me, I, I know I was either thinking like, okay, do I know I, if I need to do like Facebook ads and stuff like that, I definitely have to raise money for that, for mm-hmm. that avenue. But, um, but if I'm doing influencer marketing and, that route like you suggested I feel way better about that Mm. um and but and also I know I need to raise money for like packaging and because I know I don't have packaging but um but other than that I feel I feel good and I I feel um I I guess I just wanted to ask your opinion and kind of have like a ball game of where I'm at and what you suggest. Um, Cause I know in regards to like Facebook advertising um, and that, that route, you definitely need um, some income to start. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So- I would say as well, um, one thing you might want to get a little bit into is some groups. So maybe, okay. um, you know, uh, women makeup groups i've got a friend who's really into makeup by the way and, and she's you know she's in a few groups on on social media like facebook groups oh, no about way. the latest makeup that's out and those sorts of things um yeah but um but yeah i mean you, the, the other side is you could also do like partnership deals with some of the influencers that put on makeup you can actually yeah. have a brand partnership with them maybe where you put their brand on the makeup bag or you do some collab uh product okay uh, and then when they sell it and you sell it, you both make revenue. So you won't yes. be talking about big upfront fees with them. You can do some, you know, we, we sell it together. And if it sells, we both make money kind of idea. The yes. other thing I think you can also think about doing, um, I reckon you'll, you'd be a candidate for crowdfunding. Okay. So I don't know if you've looked at Kickstarter or any of those or even Crowdcube. Mm-hmm. Go, go look at some of these crowdfunding sites. Have you looked at them? Um, I haven't. No, I haven't. Go, go have a look because I think I think you might uh, be a candidate for. In particular, I'm thinking Kickstarter. Okay. Um, I think I think it could work well. Product based businesses work quite well on those platforms because people can buy the product in advance, mm-hmm. and and you give them some special privileges because of that, and that that can that can lead to all the funding needs. You kind of pre sell. It's like marketing. Then people will buy. They become a member of your, you know, your kind of business. Uh, and then you yes. community built and you can do it through their their reach okay awesome wow honestly you are completely just giving me so much help and i feel so appreciative wow you are honestly thank you like i can't even begin to tell you like how much this means to me and yeah, yeah that's that's awesome i will definitely look at kickstarter and um, I guess, do you have any suggestions on my brand or what you see that I need to 
fix or anything like that or no, any... uh, not right now i mean the only thing that worries me is it's a good name and you've got to trademark it just to make sure you're protected i think the other thing is i mean just start um using your uh, website address as your email address you know, so okay yes a, yes using, yes you're using a gmail you know just, just start to you know everything you align around you are a company just that you are a company you're emailing people as yes. a company and yes so therefore, you know your, your communications kind of stop the gmail thing and start you know uh talk, talking and speaking communicating with the world by your website company brand Yes, I do actually have a, a email like info at Loom Co. Um, so oh, I should have used that to reach out instead of my personal Gmail. <laughs> but, set, one up, set one up for your your name at you know. So um, make, make, you know, put, the info is a bit is good. So that, that's that's okay. generic company email. So maybe set up a personal email address for yourself too. I I don't know what site okay. you use for the website, but if you've got GoDaddy for example, it's it's free. You just go in there and you set yeah. alias. So okay. It comes to your info app, but you can create your you know your name basically at your company name. So actually, for mine, okay. it's like me at simonsquib.com, right? You know. Yes. Yes. Um. You could, but of course, later on, when you have it, when you have a team working for you, they need a company email address, right? So. Exactly. Otherwise, yeah. I mean, um, this is just a quick chat today, but just just to give us yes. basics. But I yeah. think that 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 that's what I see right now. If you get those few things going, go and have a look at Kickstarter. Go and look at the crowdfunding sites in general. Sure. Um, and and then have a little. Uh, I mean, there is another option on raising money. It depends on what you're trying to do. But product-based mm -hmm. businesses, there are a lot of companies that invest in luxury businesses. So I don't know okay. if you ask yourself as luxury, but you need okay. to you need to put together a pitch deck. Um, yeah. And, you know, I think there's, but again, these people are all easily found on, on sites like AngelList, um, okay. which is an investor portal. Mm -hmm. um, again, have a little look around these things. Just by looking at them, you'll learn how they work and you'll see what I mean. Um, exactly. That could be another route, but you need to get a deck done, I guess, explaining why okay. someone's investing in your business and what the upside would be of that investment. Yeah. I'm happy to have another chat with you another time about that bit. If if, um, if crowdfunding isn't the right route for you, or, or you don't think you can you can get the business going without without the funds, because if you don't do Facebook ads, you know it's a lot less cost involved. If you exactly. have that, that makes money every time you sell the product, it's going to save you a lot of stress worrying about the finances. I think that way. Exactly. It's you're bang on with that because yeah, that was my main main concern. I was like, oh, if I'm doing Facebook ads. Definitely to read, have some money for that. So <laughs> you can spend but, millions of millions of dollars on Facebook ads and not even realize it. I've been there. So exactly. I know. Exactly. But honestly, Simon, thank you so much. I honestly, I feel so grateful and thank you. You you no, just blew no. me out of the park. Thank you we, so much. We've got to help each other. You know, this is a this is yes. a tough time right now. So. I'm not a doctor. I'm not one of those genius people. But I love the business. <laughs> I can help people right now, hopefully, and create jobs and create yeah. a successful company that creates jobs. And hopefully, um, you know, people can go out and do what they love. Like you're saying, you, 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 this is your passion and uh, yeah. your next step. So I'm excited for you and look forward to seeing you, uh, you make it work. Yes, totally. And any way I can add value to you as well, I... Oh my gosh, I am all in. I'm all about serving and spreading kindness and positivity and all that stuff too. <laughs> so how do you how do um, we get connected? How do we how do you know of what we're doing? Um, I actually found you on social media mm -hmm. and on Instagram. And I just I truly believe every everybody comes into your life for a reason and I just instantly was like wow oh my gosh his story and wow like I truly just think you're just a beautiful soul and have a wonderful soul and have purpose and I am all about that and I just yeah I just think you're just so so wonderful and um yeah I that's lovely. It's like wow. I need to, I need to like at least just tell him how wonderful he is and how his impact is just 
so admirable. So I was like, even, yeah, I just need to tell him even just that. So <laughs> you're a very giving person. I can see that. So you deserve your, uh, your success. And make sure, um, <laughs> is your name the same on social media? I want to make sure we're following you and we're liking your stuff and supporting you in that way. Oh. Um, Talia, you're listening oh. in. Can you just make sure we're following? Rachel, make yeah, sure that's we're... fine. I'll do that now. All right, great. Yeah, I actually, you know what? I must say, my personal, or my, I'm not really that active on social media and I should be more active because it's such a beautiful um amazing way to connect but um yeah so if you look at my pages and stuff I have a lot of things about nature and things like that but oh, cool. that's cool but yeah it's about your company it's definitely again that's another brand name thing you want to set up your brand name own the url for instagram tiktok yes um you know get get the handles so just register them even if you don't use them yes then, then at least you you have them for when you have a social media manager working for you that can then leverage those those platforms okay exactly exactly i actually have them set up um already so that's really good <laughs> that's great. okay good are yeah, you on tiktok yeah. um I, I have my company for tiktok mm. um but I don't have, I know, TikTok is actually the best one right now. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely, uh, the biggest I'm, reach. Finding, I'm finding it interesting to be on TikTok right now. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, good. Well, um, wonderful yeah. to connect to you. And um, yeah. yeah, let us know once you've gone through those few things we've talked about today, what we can do to help you next, okay? Absolutely. In any way, I can help you as well. Just let me know. That's really I'm special. all about serving. So that's, that's really thank kind. you so much, Simon.